Gentlemen, welcome back to the shop today. A treat especial, a fluid transfer pump from Lincoln. Of course, bought by SKF Bearing Limited Company, something, something. Uh, Lincoln is the grease gun manufacturer and they do fluid transfer stuff. So this here is a pump. What for pumping dinosaur squeezins? If you don't pump the ethylene glycol too good on account of it, uh, it gets sticky with the Buna N and the aluminium and whatnot, but dinosaur squeezins, holy moly, she pumps like a hot damn. Anyway, enough foreplay, let's get into the meat of her. And I guess I neglected to say that this is uh, inherently safe because it's air actuated, and I think there is a ground lug on here, but as you can see, there we are, 4 GP, 4 gallons per minute, 1 to 1 ratio, 40 to 150 pissies. And the ubiquitous China export mark looks like uh, not anodized, but uh, powder coated aluminium body. Nice castings. And of course, a centered bronze breather plug for the exhaust. That's a clue. And quarter inch NPT, not BSP. NPT. Air chooches in here. Something sucks up fluid stops it up, blows her out the end words. Let's say we have a look see wah. Now, I ain't never had one of these eight part but clearly there is some spring of a thing and sprung of a thong in there and uh, yeah apparently rookie mistake lefty loosey righty tighty but the friggin jesus thing I mean pretty anemic I think it's meant it's not no user serviceable parts inside son of a diddly Okay, well, I am holding it with my fingers. Oh, it can't be all that skookum. Oop. Now, in here, it looks to be a UHMW or Deleron. Probably Deleron, on account of anodized aluminum. A Pistone, probably with an O-ring in there. And here is the return spring. So this is a single acting cylinder. Just chooches in. And then once it hits, there's got to be some ports in here somewhere that uh, exhausts the flow past the pistone so that the return spring can bear on it and push the pistone backwards. Anyway, let's get that thing out and see what's in there. Now, of course, if I was properly set out, I'd just blast that out with some air, but this is my channel we're talking about. So this is interesting. Here's the piston, and that's the front end that bears on the spring of a thing. Here's the back end. I guess that's, yeah, that's a little Buna and uh, bumper, but these are actually urethane seals. And you can see the two ridges on there. And this chooches back and forth, but when it chooches far enough, you can see the air scoots past. And this is some interesting construction detail here. Weldment. So this chrome polish OD shaft, it's welded actually to this uh, bearing plate here for the spring of a thing. And then that, that's actually a fairly heavy spring. And then that goes through and it must actuate the pumping element here on the output side. Well, I got it A part, but not without casualties. Somebody else had a go at this. Hence the reason it's in the scrap of a bin. And son of a diddly, in the words of my favorite contemporary poet, Another one buys a duster. Focus, you fuck. It's clearly the raison for no worky-worky. And here's the working cylinder here. Ugh. If we look, it's actually two. It's a built-in valve. I'll take the nut off, so uh, what for showing you more better. Now, this is an interesting feature, this pistone, and it kind of buffooed me a little bit, why there would be two seals. See this? This is a through hole. So... When the piston, let's see, this this is bearing on the spring, so the piston gets pushed until that little slot and it goes past that through hole, and then it pressurizes the backside, and it sends the piston back this, with this tensioning spring, of course, but also with the air pressure. Now we've got this split apart, and this just has a Buna in. Uh, quad ring so that's a square ring with with little lippies on either end 
And then this is the check valve. So this this seats on here like that. So when it's um, when the piston is pushing, we're forcing fluid out, and then on the way back that can open up and suck in fluid. Let me think about this. Oh, this is cool. It actually sucks and blows. Now, that sounds impossible to some, but I, my friends, have been to Thailand. What happens is it pushes the... Here's the piston, right? Okay, like that. So this guy pushes the fluid out. At the same time, it's sucking fluid in through here. It has to. It has no choice because it creates a vacuum. Then on the return stroke, this unseats on the return no on the up stroke. Okay, this time I really got it. Hey, we do things right because we do things twice and occasionally thrice. This pushes in, this is up but abutted, so it's a solid piece when you're pushing the fluid. Then when this squeezes back, this allows this pops open and allows fluid to get past this piston. Then when we push again, it seats. Fuck. Okay. So what happens here? Consider this. There's oil on the back side of this guy. When we push this way, it sucks the oil into the cylinder. When we release the air, it comes back under spring tension and, and with the help of air. But this unseats. See, it's got a O-ring. This unseats. That allows oil to flow to the front side of the piston. Now the cylinder is charged. Wah. When it pushes again, it pushes the fluid out. And there you have it. Jongi's your auntie. Jeanette's your matante. Hey, thanks a lot for watching. What do you figure? Is that worth $1,054? <laughs> Industrial, my friends. Industrial. Thanks a lot for watching. Keep your dick in a vice.